Finals time at the Shark Tank Shootout. What do you say, folks? Bob McCoy takes on Jacob Womack here. William Stewart, Brandon Neal on the call for this action. Excited for this one as we're going to get a race to five format in our finals here. What do you say, Brandon? I think it's going to be a very elevated race as we've mentioned it a few times. These two seemed to have been on a collision course against each other. Looks like a couple of 140s to start. They're just going to stand in the middle of the ring and throw haymakers at each other for about 20 minutes. Yeah, heavyweight duel here for sure. Uh, I, I, they both have been just really impressive on the scoring power, uh, really impressive on the doubles. You'd be hard to pick a favorite here. Unfortunately, this is going to come down to the circle in the middle. Oh, yeah. yeah it's going to no come doubt. down to the cork. No doubt about it. We'll zoom in just a little bit, give you a little bit better view of our two competitors. Good finish for the McCoys here in this one. I believe Robert McCoy, Jr., the son of Bob McCoy, finished in that top eight as well. So he was playing next top to eight me. or top sixteen. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good finish. Throwing very well. Bob leaves himself with a very doable 113. Let's see what Jacob's going to leave himself. Was a 121. Was a top 16 missing out to Danny Moore, so just wanted to correct myself. As the 113 gets a look here, I myself go 20s route down the 19s, then 36 if I miss. But now we go trip 20. 17. Tidy. Let's see if Jacob can make him pay early in this matchup with the 1 2 1 check. Full first. And, and it's, one of, it's one of those factors. You know, single 20, you can still work around it. Triple 20, even better. But yeah, we're seeing that bull played more and more. The 25s leaves you 96. Triple for double 18. It's easy to say it's the right shot after he misses, right? But right. Very I, solid. I definitely wouldn't be able to hit it anymore. I don't even play enough these days, if at all. It's very cute how you play off how mediocre you might be at darts. <laughs> and what, what are you now, a mid to high four in soft tip cricket still? Oh, probably four. Yeah. Probably a four. There was a time a couple of years ago where you were hard to beat, if I remember <laughs> right. A couple years ago, yeah. <laughs> a couple years ago. Back when the streaming didn't, it wasn't even really a, a focus yet. But yeah, but weren't you streaming yourself? Well, that's that's why yeah. this kind of happened. Is it started off as streaming yourself, and then it turned into. If I remember this. right, you had a couple of S's. You had two S's on your board <laughs> rating, if I remember what you, correctly. What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, that's good. Well, a good start for Jacob with the 121. Forces McCoy to hit two of his own. Will hit that and then some. Somehow managed to get between his two darts in the triple 20 and still go low on a single 20. That is my luck when it comes to uh, a, a 1080 attempt. Speaking of 1080s, there you go. That's a 180, as A E would say. Very timely as he's trying to tie this back up at one apiece. Miss Alvanita out of the Phoenix area. How are you doing, young lady? Great individual. Great individual. She and I partnered up with Mr. Chris Watson at TOC um, and made a run in triples on a Tuesday afternoon. Look at this. What a one, six, eight. Disgusting. How would it feel to be throwing a 40 and be down by 230 points as you come up trying to leave yourself an out? 
Uh, that's rough. Don't ask me. I, I've never had that feeling. Well, he's going to leave himself a look. He, he will leave. He, he adds the pressure he needs to a big 180. And wow, folks, As this is do. an app. This is what we're going to see in this final. Here we go. 32 for 1-1. One, one. Left the, or applied the maximum amount of pressure, mm -hmm. and it's like he didn't even do it. No. No. All right, we're one to one. Bob's ready to bring in a cork. You can see it. I'm expecting a couple of good ones here. Yeah, there's halfway there. Center bit for Bob. It's on the bottom. And a little bit better from Jacob. You were 100% correct, and you're thinking of this could be a good one. Yep. Yes, it was. Clutch and more clutch. So one to one. Uh, Jacob will get the start. And a little lackluster start after almost pee hole in the cork. Yeah. Uh, it it kind of opens the door for Bob to. It does. You to can see his eyes open up a little bit, yep. knowing that he had a, an opportunity. He's going to take advantage here, too. He typically does. One more triple. 40. One more triple will do. That's that 100 point differential. <laughs> Ryan Mooneyham just stepped in the in the booth. <laughs> so you missed all the fun, Ryan. Yeah. Yeah, look at it. I got mad and punched it. Bought us some new monitors, already broke them. Yeah, got to take them back. Got to so take them back. Leg number three here. And a uh, best of nine leg format. Jacob decided to take the first half of this leg off. Now he's going to try to catch up. Going first, so he's not completely out of it. Mm-hmm. Um, Bob hasn't taken his foot off the gas at all, um, so I realize I just cursed him. I've been trying to avoid <laughs> that the entire time. Um, I knew it. We'll see. We'll see. He can still hit a triple here. Be fine. Yep. No harm. No foul. He's going to be okay. Okay. That's all right. Yeah, because because Jake up here still needs 150 to even touch it, and 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 that's yeah two triples and then some. He, he, so. He's got to fill it up pretty much. Yep. And he may do that. Got to have it. And, and great move. Yep. Great move to the 17s there, opening up the 160 opportunity if Bob doesn't take out the 140. His board management has been stellar yes. the, this entire event. And, and, and that's what I was mentioning you know, a few matches ago. It's just the board management from Jacob is he's definitely got the, the upper hand advantage no matter who he plays in that aspect. Super high. Yeah, super high. There we go. Okay. Boy, would this be a great 160 to hit. It's, it's, not, it's not too far-fetched. <laughs> no. Oh! All right, Bob. For the 2-1 advantage. I've seen him throw a double 20 once. Nope, twice. Um, he hit one and threw low on the second one. Yeah. But clean it up. Got to clean it up. And he doesn't. Oh, no. You can't give away opportunities like that, especially when it comes to a final. This is a very unexpected opportunity. Yeah, uh, exactly. As he was down well over. You, you could sense that the Jacob wasn't ex expecting to get the look. Right. Yeah. He you just gave the, like, oh, wow. okay. How, okay. Did I, uh, how did I get that one? Yeah. How am I punching up this next game? 2-1, Jacob. Race to five. Still plenty of darts left. Still plenty of time to dig in and make a run. It's better than not hitting a bull. Mm -hmm. At this point in the event, yeah, you can't expect to win that on the outside ring. You 
can tell Bob's visibly upset with how he finished that leg. But I've seen him play a lot. He will lock in, make a run. That's going to be hard. To yeah, do. that's, that's going to be tough. Update our scoreboard. There we go. Mike, how are you, brother? Good old Mike Maloney. Good to see you. He's got to make it down here eventually for this Shark Tank shootout. Yeah. Just the event in general. I'd hold him up if he needed a. He's not too far off. He's about six hours away. Yeah. I got a pretty strong back. <laughs> And I have two triples here. It'll work. Bare minimum. He's up against it. Going second, plus down 40 points. Yeah. And, and this could be a real big difference maker here if he gets two triples. Won't get it. Won't even get one. Oh my goodness. That's a big round. Wire, wire, wire. Coy now here. He's got to, he, you, you of course need the one triple, but if he can gather two here, it almost sways back in his favor with the one six one look. Yep. That's true. A another unexpected. You, you pretty much give Jacob a two, three out of ten opportunity of hitting that one six one. Yep. You called it. Oh. I'll still take the look at one two six any day over that one six one just because you you get the one dart miss and right. you're okay. You, you do have a single. Yeah, yeah. This one you don't. You gotta attack, and he's gonna get the look. Oh. Wow. Okay. So. Wow. wow. That made my hair hair stand up a little bit. All right. So Bob's gotta start nineteen here, right? Yeah, you've got to start 19. Four mark the 19, you get a look at the bull. Six mark the 19, you get the double six look. So what do you fancy here, Bob, to tie us up? And that is where you can't do that. And you see Jacob behind him. He immediately turned around and knew you messed up. You messed up. Ouch. He'll learn from that. You have to. You have to. And Bob, mostly a, so, a soft hit player, will say that. Did go to the Las Vegas Open this year. It was good seeing him there, but he was ha he was struggling a little bit with the differences there. Yeah. He says, "My my flights are just flo uh, flying, or my my darts are flying crazy." I said, "Yeah, you need to do a different flight." He goes, "Wait, what?" And I said, "Yeah, you need a bigger flight." Bigger he, flight he changed yeah. a bigger flight, and it was just you could tell. He goes, "Thanks for that advice." Yeah, mm -hmm. it's different. It's just yeah. different. Yeah, and there is some, some memorization that can happen with those what we would call steel tip or, or split bull, double out um, setups. 126 is a big one. 122 is another one. Yeah. You know, those that, that you have to start in a certain order in mm -hmm. order to leave yourself a look. To get the maximum opportunities. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, exactly. I, you know, I actually talked to Dason about that. It's like... He's, he was like, oh, I love the double 18. I was like, well, you like the 18s? Yeah. I said, then where was the 18s on 122? And he said, oh, I know. And I said, same thing with 302. And he goes, yep. what do I do there? And I told him, and he goes, oh. And I yep. said, exactly. You're giving yourself opportunities when you do that. So, yep. Shorten the game. Yep. Got to give yourself as m the, m the maximum amount of darts possible. Yep. Take a look. And... Okay. You, can you, but you can see Bob is like, that. that's simply not enough here. Right. Well, I think he's still having a, a, some some big feelings about that <laughs> last leg. Uh, needs to take a look at. He was given a reprieve. This is his opportunity. Grab a hold of this leg and get yourself back into this match. This is the opportunity. With the j way Jacob's been playing, mm -hmm. he's not going to get too many more. dead center in the segment.
Nice 140. Giving himself a good opportunity to leave himself an out. Figure Jacob's gonna follow at least a 140 in. Wow, that's a 180. Big answer. He was up against it and just stepped right up to the plate. Folks, what do you think of this action here for your finals? Lots of viewership. Thanks for joining us. William Stewart, Brandon Neal on the call here for this one. Bob does set up the 1 4 5. Jacob has to set himself up with a look. So 98 sets up the 1 6 4. Not going to do it. Not going to do it. So six starts at the 1 4 5 for Bob to make this 3 to 2. Am I wrong? That second dart should have gone 18 for a triple 18 to leave himself 170. Is that that's? So either way, you're going to have to have 98 to leave the 164, right? And it would have been what? It would have been six less, so 92. Yeah. But so he could have went. He could have went triple and then over the 18s for 72, and then that would have left the 170. That's what I mean. Yeah. So yeah. so he went 20 on the second dart, it, which left him a bogey. And it's whatever you fancy. I mean, if if he would if he would have hit the triple, he could have went to the 18s, left 98 or what I'm 164. Is if he would have left, he could have hit a single 18 and still hit a triple 18, and it would have left him 170. Mm -hmm. But he went 20 instead, and so it left yeah. him 160. So he was thinking either 17. He was thinking 164 instead of 170. Right. That's okay, what he's thinking. It. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay. yeah. A big uh, hit. That is a big hit indeed. And you see him fist pump there yeah. because he didn't want to go four two down. Well, he took a dart out of his hand with the triple three, right? You yeah. Know. And I said four two four one down is what that would yeah. have been. Jeremy saying grade A darts, grade B commentary. You mean grade C commentary, buddy? We just passed the the test here. <laughs> Say, I don't just pass. I, I didn't get too many B's in, in school, so I'll take that. And this is the new grading scale, so I heard like a C is like. Technically, like a 66 average these days. <laughs> Ooh, what a cork! Look at that. I think that those That's, are both. Yeah, rediddle. In, and we get to do it again, and they, they spun to the bottom, which could get us a couple more doubles. All right, three-two, Jacob. Very, very important cork here with the way that these guys are playing. And looks like he's. One hole, two holes out of the double. A lot of room there for Jacob, and he takes advantage of it. Jacob will get the start, up three to two. With the exception of one leg, he started very strong. See if he can continue that in leg number six. Yeah, getting the start here. Jacob got to hit a triple. Okay, Bob. Okay, Bob. Best case scenario for Bob, honestly. Yes, for sure. Attack here. Get two. Get three. Fill it up. Uh Big 180. Massive to start off this sixth leg. Yeah, this. Considering he threw a 60 the last round, again, best case scenario for Bob. It's his six stars to Bob's three, and Bob's still ahead, right. so. And hasn't, th yeah. It's almost like a giveaway round for Bob. I mean, you don't want to make it a giveaway round. You want to attack here, get a triple, yes. You don't yeah, want to just give that advantage get, right back. Say, he almost handed it right back yep, to you. Yep, yep. Big miss. Now Bob has at least six from 243. 
looking to set himself up handy. Should do just that. That'll that'll work. I would have went downstairs there with my last dart just yeah. just to kind of even it up myself. But and you can see this is a great attack here from this is the proper play yep, from Jake. Smart triple leaves and out. Ooh. Yep. It's the right dart though. It's the right dart, but Bob gets six, one of three. And then this, 20. Yep. this this best of nine just became a two out of three. Now he goes 11 for the 32. Evens it up. Two out of three now. Break of throw. Well, I guess technically since we're corking every leg, it's not well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Went it's a little second. bit of a break, but right. still it's, it's not as significant because Jake can still win the, the diddle here. Yeah. Bob has a very even-keeled demeanor when he's playing. He's almost unflappable, and it does have a almost an uninterested I look do, to it. I do like that from Bob, though. You see, he didn't even yeah, hesitate yeah. with this with the with the he next fired dart. Another dart in. Yep. And you knew, see the result. Yep. Knew it was a tie. Went ahead and just focused right on in. Capitalized on the next. All right. So Bob has kicked, scraped, and clawed his way back into this match. It's now 3-3 with Bob having the start. So at this juncture of this match, Bob has the advantage. Yeah, oh, definitely. I you would say he's, he's got the, the confidence swaying his way right now. Eight minutes ago, you couldn't have convinced me that we no. would be here. No, right no, now. you could have definitely predicted maybe a five to two, five to three win in favor of Jacob, but the yeah. tide has definitely turned. A couple iffy rounds from Jacob where Bob just capitalized. Yeah, straight hammered away, and there you go, right back into form is Jacob. And see that this right here is why these guys are here. Right when we said the tide had turned, the momentum had completely shifted, mm -hmm. Jacob is like, uh-uh, I'm still here. Well, still the most impressive thing for me about Jacob's career, uh, this doesn't get mentioned a lot, and it should, is he swept the Evolution Tour when he was 23. Wow. Swept it. Didn't, and nobody won a, uh, an event but him, and I think there was, what, n nine events? I think it was nine events in that Evolution Tour. So for you to have that pure domination throughout a year, you know you're a good player, and he's just continuing to do little check marks on his on his list right. little bullet, as bullet he gets older and older. Yep. Yeah, because I, I still he's only 20, 26 maybe. Impressive. Twenty six. I mean that that level of consistency that you're talking about is almost impossible. <laughs> you, know, you just don't see that kind of yeah. repetition at this level. Yeah. I love to see it. I love to see somebody get knocked down in the ninth round, and they just jump right back up and yep. start throwing punches. It's it's so impressive to watch. And and like I said, this is why these guys are here. This is your One more. Oh, yes. Bob for the double eight. Gross. Oh, you heard him roar. What a massive dart for Bob McCoy. From the depths, he gets three on the spin for the four three advantage. Holy cow, what Brandon. A huge answer. We had just talked about. I mean, think about the. the Emotional swings that we just went through where we talked about, you know, Jacob being down and out and then coming back and swing. I mean, then Bob was like, you yeah, know, we're, we're fine. We're fine. Yeah, don't worry, bud. I still got this in the bag. <laughs> Jacob walks up and sticks a good cork. And Jacob will take the start in leg number eight. Four to three, Bob. Jacob has to have it. This is a race to five, correct? Yes, race and to five. Got to have this leg if you're Jacob Womack to force the decider.
Standard, bare minimum. It'll work, though. Forces Bob basically to throw a 140 to, to really beat. Yeah, he, he may just do that here. He may just do that here. He may throw a big one. Oh, boy. Big stuff. I'll Hit. give it. I'll give him it. Boom goes the dynamite. Why not? One time. Go. Wow, I feel so special. I was on the call for a boom. <laughs> I did it one time. <laughs> Great that's, answer. That, yeah, that's still a good answer. Yeah. Time to a ton 40. Just keeps keeps in the back of Bob's mind here. Yeah. Is Bob gonna miss? Stop he, it. He's Stop not it. yet. Stop it. Back to back, big 180s from Bob McCoy here. I'm not gonna say it, but everybody <laughs> knows. I mean, this is the potentially final leg. So he's guaranteed to get a. Get his shot with Jacob on the outside looking in. I mean, Here we go. How impressive. Jacob sets up the shot if McCoy misses. One for one for the nine. Take a look, Bob. Oh. Even Jacob wanted him to hit that. You see the look back there like, oh. What so, an effort. So Jacob's done his part, leaving the 81 here. Clean two dart check out to force the last leg decider. Fifty seven. The twelve. Now it make oh the Leonard Gates. And he gets Man. the Leonard Gates. We deserved this. Yeah, you're dang right we did. You guys deserved it too out there in Facebook and YouTube land. Last leg decided to rule them all. Who's going to be crowned your Shark Tank shootout champion with a total prize of $400 going their way, 250 going to second. Oh, no, that was, a, that was a tie. That was a tie for sure. And Oh, no. That stinks if you're Jake Womack. I don't want to toot my own horn here, but remember before this started what I said it was going to come down to? Yep. The little circle in the middle. Oh, that's unfortunate. All right, Bob to start the final leg. He's like, just fill it up. Just fill it up. It's all right. Standard, again. We, we, we've started with 100 most legs, and they've been answered strongly. No what exception. a shot from Womack. Yeah, Justin, we don't say misery around here, bud. It's Kansas. You're welcome, Ryan. Gotta have it. Thank got it. All right. Yeah, let's see. Well below at that second. Well below at the second. I mean, considering that was 12 to 13 holes low, I, he probably <laughs> slipped. A maybe bit. a slip, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Successfully, yeah. Successful slip. <laughs> Yeah, I got to adjust here. Uh, I figured he'd adjust. So, I feel like I've seen the 136 recently. Maybe. Maybe. He's lucky he left himself that. Because he was sitting at 196. The 20 would have left him a bogey. Yeah. And it's very likely going to have to go. I think so. It did go a minute ago. It will not go here. 62 remaining for Womack to grab the title here and escape Bob McCoy. 
and to prove me wrong <laughs> that the cork did not win the event. Bob feels it's over. You can sense it. Double four. Oh, what a clutch last dart. And you can see excellent darts. Instant Jeff. smile from Bob yeah. Newen. That was a classic. What a battle. There you go, folks. Congrats to Jacob Womack, your Shark Tank shootout champion here in Shawnee, Kansas.